Generally speaking, you'd rather be strong than weak. But is that also true of the U.S. dollar? The U.S. dollar certainly isn't strong these days. It's fallen, in some cases, to historic lows against many world currencies. Now, it's not all bad. A weak dollar makes American goods cheaper, so companies who sell stuff to other countries do benefit. But it's not all good either, because Americans import a lot more than we export. Just this year, according to this ticker, we've imported more than $500 billion more than we've exported. It's called a trade deficit. And as any economics professor will tell you, a weak dollar means higher prices on everything we import, from TVs to oil. America has a very big appetite for foreign uh, goods and services, and those will become more expensive. Bottom line, a weak dollar leads to higher prices, otherwise known as inflation. So how do you protect yourself against a weak dollar? Well, you exercise your right to put some of your money overseas. Because that can make your savings stronger. Take some of your money, send it overseas, invest it in, over there, and when you convert it back, you will have an increase in more dollars brought home. And that's the standard investment strategy, to put some of your money overseas and then bring it back home. And you don't have to be Donald Trump to invest around the world. Nowadays, you can get mutual funds, stocks, bonds, even CDs from other countries with a few hundred bucks and the click of a mouse. So look at different investments and maybe even different currencies. Strengthen your knowledge, then see what you can work out. For DivorceU.com, I'm Stacy Johnson.